Okay. Let's talk about it. Talk about it. <gasps> All right, cool. Let me just explain one thing. Luckily, I've never had rude brides. Mm. But recently, mm -hmm. this actually happened to me. A, a bride's going to look at me and if I've got drugstore brands and I'm using yeah. collections and stuff, yeah. you're going to stop that. <laughs> but she didn't tell the MUA. Anyway. <laughs> there was a wedding. <laughs> hey, that one pains me. Because <laughs> now the situation <laughs> is awkward. <laughs> now it's hostile. Like, no. come on. Wait, no, don't no, lie. no. <laughs> don't lie. So the MUA. Anyway, if you're robbing me from taking content because you want to lie, and then, okay, cool that happens you get away with doing that you now go and tell your friend that wants to book me later on that oh I did this you know that, that has a knock on effect and everyone Fair thinks enough. that they can be doing that, that that's a oh good my point. is it low <laughs> oh. okay, you that's, okay that's a good yes there's me being a makeup artist but I'm also a girl and I'm also from the community that so part. we all kind of know what kind of goes on in our community because mm. this is, this is deep but then again I really enjoyed the no but the reason why I'm saying don't delete it yeah, yeah. is because this is real life stuff true that we're going past like like mm. I said I remember the first thing I said yeah. is that people don't speak about this it's enough true. on all these wedding party podcasts it's but true. I'm talking about someone that's in the community mm. these are things that we should be talking about okay. mm. <laughs> <laughs> I know Hi. we're here <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so first of all, hey guys, and welcome back to the bride's room. It's Aisha. Um, we've got a great episode today, actually. I'm really <laughs> looking forward to this one. <laughs> Every time we're always talking about vendors, but what do we have today? We have... <laughs> Edith Williams. Hey so we guys. have a vendor in the building. Welcome, yeah. Edith. Let's give her, oh, sorry, let's give her a round of applause. Woo! Edith, Edith, Edith. Hey, hey, hey. Um, welcome. Welcome Thank to you. the Thank you for room. having me. How you feeling? Nervous. Really? <laughs> Edith, you did not strike me as a nervous person. I'm please. so shy. Like everyone really? thinks that I'm not. Really? I think it's just because, like, you know, when you're alone taking mm -hmm. like pictures and stuff like that yeah, like, yeah. there's no one around so you can be as confident as you want yeah but like when i'm around people i'm just really, really shy just i'm really chilled. annoyed really yeah. no, oh my god <laughs> well i love that well i'm glad to have you obviously um just for context guys um edith actually was my mua on my makeup so if you can see on the bride's room we did that yeah we you did, did that, that. <laughs> <laughs> um i still love that makeup up till today i still get compliments even Is as of up till today yeah so yeah. Um, yeah, no, that was a really lovely. That got a lot of likes. It got a, a, a lot, lot, a lot, a lot. I did not expect. I mean, it, I loved it personally. Yeah, yeah. But, um, and I remember as well. You were like, "Oh, like, what kind of makeup do you want?" Like, I know, hey, girl, party girl. Yeah, okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I was That's like, so put good. all the glitter, put all the razzle dazzle, yeah. put it on, and it just came out so lovely. Yeah. It did. Um, but of course, it only made sense to invite you to the bride's room. I thought, you know what? I actually had a great experience with you personally. Um, That's good. And it would be good to. Get things from a vendor's perspective for once as well. Right. Um, but before we do that, how's your week been? Like, how it's have been you good. been? I've been good. You know what? I've had mixed emotions this week. Really? Um, yeah, because I have a lot of, like, personal things that, you know, just make me feel a little bit down sometimes. Oh. So I haven't had the best week, but yeah. I'm always in high spirits yeah. when I can be. Okay, amazing. But you're feeling better and you're in the bride's room. Yeah, you know, the bride's exactly. room is for all. Exactly. Um, did you have any makeup bookings this week? Yeah. And are you still teaching as well? Yeah. <gasps> that's going great, actually. I know. I've been seeing you do. You went to Paris, Paris recently yeah. as well. Like, I, I was so shocked because it's one thing to be known, like, where you're from. Mm. But it's another for people to appreciate your work somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So the fact that, like, so many people from Paris were like, 
open to me mm. coming down and like showing them my skill set. Mm-hmm. It was an achievement for me. Really? Yeah. That's amazing. Like how um how did that even happen? Was that literally just through your work like consistently like blowing up or like Do you did know, you already have a like a network out there? Like um I had a lot of Paris uh, a lot of girls coming from Paris to do one to ones with me. Mm. So it was getting a lot to mm. the point that we were just like, why don't we just go yeah, out there? Yeah, true. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Rather than them coming to us. Mm. So yeah, I just after like about, I would say I had like five girls from Paris come down this year. Wow. But after that, we just planned it, put it out there. And then, yeah, the rest of the people that wanted to come Damn. came through. Well, yeah. big up for you. You're international. You. <laughs> I try, I try. International <laughs> MUA. Um, okay, so I obviously put out on my story on Instagram that um, you'd be coming. Obviously, yeah. people were like, yes, finally. Uh. <laughs> because... <laughs> I always talk about like vendors and what they're doing and what they're not doing. Yeah. And obviously the hair, the topic, it, it comes up. It has to come up, right. right? It's the bride's room. But the topic of hair and makeup always seems to come up. And yeah. it's one that like I've always want, I, 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 I hope we do touch on it today, but I've right. always wanted to touch on, but just in a constructive way. Of course. Um, And obviously what makes sense, you being an expert to come and yeah. tell us. So let me whip out my questions. Ooh, girl, <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> Oh, uh, let me whip up my questions. So some of them were good. Some of them okay. were like, um, okay, let me actually get into it. So question number one was, have you ever had a very rude bride that didn't like your work and how did you deal with it? Okay. So luckily I've never had rude brides, mm. but recently mm-hmm. this actually happened to me. So before, before I would have said no. They didn't like it. Yeah. Recently this happened. So... That's why I always tell brides, it's really important to put, book a one-to-one trial session mm. because if you're just expecting the MUA to come in blind, you can't really be annoyed if you don't like it because the person's coming into the book in blind. They've yeah. never met you before yeah. and they don't know your your do's and your don'ts. Yeah, yeah. Unless you've got like a, a guide that you want to give them, mm-hmm. pictures of what you like and how you normally do your makeup, fine. But if you have no directions for the makeup artist to follow, mm. we're just going to expect that you've seen our work online and that's what you like. Mm. So this bride, she's a lovely girl, by the way. Okay. Before <laughs> anyone the thing is, that, everyone's lovely, but yeah, yeah, yeah. She was a lovely bride, but um, she didn't really give me anything. So, like I said to her, like, show me a picture of how you normally have your makeup done. Yeah. And she was just like, you know what? I'm just going to leave it to your expertise. Like, okay do what you're doing. Bearing in mind, it was 4 a.m. booking as well. Oh, so God. I was tired. Oh my God. I was tired, but course. I felt like the makeup looked really nice when you yeah. her. But her feedback was that she didn't like it. Mm. It made her look old. Like she felt like she looked older than her um, her partner. <sighs> um, yeah, she just gave me a lot of like critiques and I was just like, oh my gosh. Like I felt so sad. Like, you know the ones where do what you I was sad. I felt so sad because really? it's like no one's ever told me that they don't have <laughs> my makeup. Like, and it, it was a humbling experience yeah. because no matter how grown you think you are in your field, mm. there might be that person that might not appreciate your skill set yeah. or might not like your skill set. Mm. When I say I phoned everyone, I phoned all my friends to tell them about it because I was so sad. Really? Like, I was so sad. Like you know, then once I was at other bookings and I was still thinking about, damn. But what exactly? So she said, okay, she didn't like it because you. she looked old. She said she felt like she looked older. She said that she felt like the blush was a bit high. Mm-hmm. Um, she didn't really like her eyebrows. She wanted it more faint looking and things oh, like that. okay. So luckily, I got a chance to redeem myself because she booked me for, that was for her registry. Okay. And she booked me for her traditional. Mm. But... I was dreading that tradition. Really? Like, it was like, maybe like two weeks later, I was dreading it. I kept thinking about it. I would go to bookies. I would even go to my destination bookies and it was on my mind. I was just like, this girl don't like my makeup. What am I going to do at this traditional? And to the point that she was just like, giving me pointers after that as to what she likes. So I appreciated that because Mm. I was just like, listen, you feel like you're not a picky bride. Yeah, but you are. (laughs) But you are. And maybe not picky, but specific. Mm. You like things done in a certain way. Mm. So you have to make sure that you're communicating that with me. Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, show me pictures of how you have your eyebrows. Mm. Tell me the kind of colours that you want me to use. Yeah. Like, the placement of things. Like, so obviously with her blush, where she says it's too high, she just wants it on the apples of her cheeks. Okay, cool. Mm. I understand. When she sent me pictures, I understood. So when I say, when it was a traditional, I made sure I followed 
all her pointers because there was, was she no happy? way. Was she happy after that? She was happy. She oh, loved good. it. And oh, funny good. thing is, her content went viral. No way. <laughs> no way. So I don't know if that gives a clue as to who it is <laughs> no, on my page. I'm going to go. <laughs> her content went viral really? and she loved it. Like, oh, that's really good though. Yeah. Okay, so one thing I will add though is even though I'm always... Yeah, I'm always a bit of a complainer recently, but still. <laughs> <laughs> what I would say is, though, just advice to brides. So it is really important to look at the style of makeup that your MUA or the MUA that you want does as well. Yeah. Because I was very specific in how I wanted my wedding makeup, especially for my second look for my right. wedding. Mm -hmm. I deliberately like sourced you because I could see that you give the blush and you right. do, I guess... You have to have an eye for that, maybe. I don't right, know. Of course. But I just felt like you had a particular style that I personally liked and I felt yeah. like it suited me more than right. like the fluffy eyebrows and very like simple, so, like soft glam type of um, exactly. makeup. But yeah, my advice is maybe brides should actually look at the style of makeup. But it's good that she liked your makeup anyway. Yeah. And it's and like you said, I guess it is a humbling experience anyway to kind of just like get that yeah. feedback. You can never get too complacent, I guess. Can I just add to that? Like yeah, I always find that sometimes you might want a specific MUA and then they're not available. Mm. So then you might go for the next best thing in True. your eyes. True. So I feel like in in her in her case, mm. she might have wanted someone else because she so, showed me someone else's work. Mm. So already for a makeup artist, it's, it's a bit like... You can't show me someone else's work and expect that that's what yeah, cause I'm, I'm, gonna I'm not do. them. Yeah. yeah, I'm not them. I can only just use that as a guide. Mm. But I don't know. Maybe some pe some MMAs might take it offen offensive that, mm. you know, you're showing them someone else's work. But I feel like that already lets me know that, okay, cool. I'm your second choice. Mm. And <laughs> you how, how, do you, how do you feel about that? Because that's quite interesting. I feel like at times it can be disheartening. But mm. if you've been in this job long enough, mm. you kind of just brush that yeah. to the side and just don't even if you, overthink it. If you feel that way, God knows how many other like up and coming Imagine. MUAs feel Imagine. because I'm sure people would be like, do it like either. It's tense. Like, <laughs> like, how am I meant to, like, I'm not a magician. Yeah. I'm not, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm this not a wizard. I don't get it. Yeah, that's <laughs> interesting. But no, okay, cool. That, I think that's really, really cool. And I think it sounds like you handled that situation quite well. Yeah. Um. Another question that was asked was, what makes this question, I, even I want to know as well, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what makes bridal makeup different from special occasion makeup for there to be such a huge, and I say huge, price, price difference? difference. <laughs> yeah? Oh I've my God, this some, is the winning question. No, no, I've noticed some MUAs are not even using different products for bridal makeup. Okay. Let's talk about it. Please. Let's talk about Please. it. Please. Let's, let's talk about it. <gasps> All right, cool. Let me just explain one thing. Like, I feel like people think that it's the quality of work that's different. Mm. It's not because with everyone, you're always going to give, like, your best service to them. Mm. It's just that the difference is a, a wedding and a bridal experience is more intense. Mm. Very intense. Like, you're going into a situation where... It's just a busy environment. Yeah. So because it's in a busy environment and it's stressful, it's tense, you might have situations where the bride... Well, you basically... You're basically paying for your time because mm. where a normal ma regular makeup, I might spend an hour, maybe an hour and a half mm. max to do your makeup. Mm. You come in there happy. You're ready to kind of like get your face beat, whether it's a graduation mm. or birthday and stuff like that. But with a bride, she's stressed out. Mm. So... There's so many things that's happening that she might have to stop and start. Mm. You know, she might have to get up and prepare her clothes and uh, accessories for the photographer mm. to take pictures. You know, someone might call her and stress her out, being mm. her parents. Like, mm. bridesmaids might be fighting. Mm, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Or just anything. Anything can happen. So you can't give a bride just an hour and a half. You have to maximize your time. You might have to say, okay, cool. Even though it's a makeup and go booking... I'm still going to have to spend or put in three hours for that bride because mm. of so many things that we might have to stop and start for, mm. you know, and especially like, you know, with makeup artists, we come after hairstylists. Yeah. So if that hairstylist is late, it has a knock on effect with your time. So in that time, I'm there with you, even though it's makeup and book, uh, makeup and go booking, mm. I'm with you for like three hours or plus. Mm. plus um, so obviously it's a thing where in that time I could have done how many people? Do you know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, we kind of pay for our time. And then it's a stressful environment in terms of you have to work under pressure. Mm. You have pressure coming from everywhere. You know, you have pressure from um, 
wedding coordinators. I like to call them monitoring spirits. <laughs> they will be. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I like to call them monitoring spirits. Like they yeah. will be pressurizing you, saying how long, how long. These mm. times, you know, the hairstylist came late. Where was the energy for the yeah, hairstylist that true. was running late? Do you get what mm. I'm saying? So you're having to work on pressure, and more times you might even have to do the makeup alongside the hairstylist. So the hairstylist's arm is hair. I'm there Under with there. my paintbrush like this. Do you know what I'm saying? So. It's not normal working conditions, basically. Mm. And then obviously we might be in a hotel and, you know, uh, the hotel lighting is very bad. So it's just not normal working conditions that I would be in on a normal circumstance. And then on top of that, the products that we use has to be more expensive. I get that the person was saying that there's no difference, but there is still a difference in terms of I'm going to use a, a brand's going to look at me and if I've got drugstore brands and I'm using yeah. collections and stuff, yeah. you're gonna snob that. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, it's that. <laughs> something I can buy myself. Yeah, yeah. What's that? Like, yeah. and the way we prep and prime the skin and everything, I don't do that for my regular clients. Mm. Like, I'm not as much though. <laughs> but you know what? Yeah, I, I, I'm even listening to you. I still disagree with some of the things not disagree okay I feel like a lot of it is applicable to maybe someone like yourself who has been in, in how long sorry how long have you been in the industry just to like confirm. Nine, nine years so yeah nearly a decade yeah you can comfortably sit here and say that but the problem that I find and I still have a problem with up till today is like someone that's probably entered the game maybe this year yeah or last year mm -hmm. you're not probably not going to be as booked and busy and that's not because like you're bad at makeup or whatever but right. I know the same terms don't apply to you you're not having to like close a shop for a day or you're not having to sacrifice any time because realistically this is probably your main booking for the week no disrespect yeah do you know what I mean so I do I do find it frustrating in that case but when someone's not, a little bit let's say someone more junior let's say that I get that but like I said it's not about the fact that you know you have other clients that you could have done it's more so that that's my time do you get mm. what I'm trying to say like a regular booking, if mm. I did have one, or even mm. if I didn't have one, should only really take an hour, an hour and a half maximum. I'm going to be there three hours plus with a bride just because of how busy it is mm. and how much interruptions that come into it. Do you mm. know what I'm saying? And I get you, yeah. Yeah, so you're there for the time. And then also, you want to make sure that the makeup that you do, you actually take your time with the bride. Yeah. Because the way it needs to come out and transpire onto a camera for to, uh, like a professional camera is different. So mm. the way you're going to be blending and stuff, you just take extra care yeah, when yeah. it's the bride. Do you get what I mean? I get you. Okay, cool. So I've got a question. So there was, I don't know if you saw, maybe you might have seen, um, but there was a TikTok recently where, maybe like a few months ago, where there was a lady who booked at MUA yeah. and she booked her for special occasion makeup. So like, I feel yeah. like just birthday makeup. Um, but she didn't tell the MUA that there was a wedding. <laughs> hey, that one pains me. Because <laughs> now the situation is awkward. <laughs> now it's hostile. Like, no. come on. Wait, no, don't no, lie. no. Don't lie. So the MUA, the MUA. <laughs> <laughs> So the MUA obviously took offense to that situation. 100%. But my argument, yeah, my argument yeah. is, yeah, if you're someone that has weighed the risks, the risks are, okay, cool. The makeup might not last as long, but I've saved myself an extra 300 pounds or whatever it is, do you know what I mean? Or more. That, that's on them. That's on the bride. I'm sure the bride is aware that her makeup is not going to be the greatest, but she wants to, uh, what's it called? Cut her coat according to her size, basically. That's absolutely ridiculous. Really? Absolutely. Okay, ridiculous. let me let me hear it. Let me hear let me hear it from an MUA perspective. Because honestly, I in my in my world, I honestly feel like what's the problem? Like she, she's gonna take the L that she has chosen to take. Do you know what I mean? It's not it's not gonna be bridal makeup, but it's some sort of makeup. I get it, but you just can't lie. You Why? just can't lie because at the end of the day, you're going to get bagged. And I'm telling you, you, what do you it's mean? gonna happen because Unfortunately, because it's your special day, mm. as much as you might pre-warn your friends, there's just somebody that's going to be like, oh, congratulations, mm. our bride. Do you know what I'm saying? They're going to hold you. Yeah. You cannot escape that. We live in a <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> we live in a world where, you know, like, people want to make reels and want to make, yeah. you know, uh, TikToks, TikToks yeah. afterwards. So I'm going to see myself tagged. Uh, yeah. MUA tag for wedding. I'm going to mm. be like, wedding? But what about if they don't tag you, though? What if they just... What? Somebody... It, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's always some vendor mm. that doesn't know that you've lied. Mm. There's always someone. Mm. Like, 
it's happened to me many times. Really? Like, well, has, I, ha, have you been in that position? Uh, yes. Really? Yes. But you know, I honestly feel like go, go, girl, because <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like, no, because you have to do what you have to do in this economy, though. But I bagged them in, in the actual booking. Uh, now what? Where do we go? Yeah, what do you do? 100% I do. Is it? Of course. So what do you do? Well, you stop the makeup like halfway That's through the eyebrow. Now it's got to get <laughs> awkward. <laughs> Well, halfway through one that eyebrow, was, you're like, well, sis, I was about to get hostile. Hey, like, if you want me to continue. And obviously, it's not like it has to get awkward in terms of like, I'm going to be mean or I'm yeah, going to be yeah. aggressive about it. Yeah. It's just that you don't want to pay more. We both know you don't yeah, want to pay more. Yeah, of course more, not. That's the whole reason why they I'm lie. not going to finish this makeup. <laughs> so where do we go from here? No, so but then they must it. be messy liars. Because I can't lie. Why can't they just go into a room and tell no one to interrupt them for like... An it hour, doesn't work, so. babe. Like it doesn't Obviously, work. Obviously, I, I even the wedding coordinator yeah. will come and they have to like say something. Mm. They have to ask the bride something. There's just something that's gonna bring it that's out. That's gonna give it yeah. away. And then like it happened even with the whole registry. Some people might even book registry, and it's like you've got a wedding going on. Mm. Like it's not a it's not a town hall. Do you mm. know what I'm saying? Like, well, so would you still charge? Because I hundred and ten percent. I'm going to charge now under wedding. No, um, so hey. registry has a different price. <laughs> hey, <laughs> registry has a different don't. price. Okay. Yeah. It but is that a little bit a more thing. When, was, when did that even become a thing, though? I don't, I don't recall know. that being a thing. Has that always been a thing? I don't know. That's new. It is. That's slightly, new. Slightly. I'm not going to lie. That's new. The whole registry thing is... No, you MUAs. Anyway, no, it's okay. Well, no. So but there's, different, there's a different price. So, like, registry okay. is cheaper for me, anyways. Okay, like, in fine. My, in my bookings. Yeah. Um, but registry, to me, is town hall. Some people don't even dress up like that. Some, be, some yeah. people even just wear, like, suit. Top yeah, that's, that's what I wore. Ju- that's what yeah, I wore mine. exactly. Yeah. Um, but then there's a difference between registry and a small wedding. You're still getting married. It's just a smaller scale. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So some people try to use that by saying it's a registry just so your booking can be cheaper. And then it's not. Mm. It's a small wedding. That's so, mad though. I like us. Me. Have, have you ever had someone I've successfully had pull it off though? Like, no. You haven't? Never. I find that this is what I'm saying. I can tell you that you're going to get nabbed. Really? <laughs> and I have to tell them, like, whether I... Because I'm not somebody that likes to embarrass people. Yeah. I'm going to be like, can I speak to you outside? Mm. Or I'm going to text you. Yeah. <laughs> Give me my money now. <laughs> I'm going to be like, I just need to um talk to you, but I'm going to send it in a message. Like, have a look really? at your phone, please. So then what happens? Have you had a position... Because I would imagine they wouldn't have much money again on the wedding day. All the money's done by then, yeah? What happens? You just walk out, you just pack your things and go. What actually happens? But what's the worst case scenario that's actually happened when you've been in that position? Do you know what? Know. I know some anyways that will walk out and go. Are you like, serious? They just reflect today. Like hey. it's business. I don't know what I would do, man. I don't know because I'm such a nice person. And I hate that I'm such a nice person. I hate it. But, but I at think the it's same good time, for business if you're nice, it takes you further. <laughs> It's not nice to not be nice, but anyway, yeah, it's, I'm, it's I'm still at, business at the end of the day, like you said. So I might enough. not do eyeshadow. <laughs> No, I might do base only. <laughs> That's what you this can afford, saying. right? <laughs> just base we and go. To, uh, just base and go. I do no lips, way. eyebrows, base, and you, yeah. You know what? I hear it. Though. <laughs> I hear it. Uh, the bright side of me is like, okay, this is mad. But then the business side of me is like, okay, that that it's is business. very fair. Just that is very honest. fair. Yeah, that like, is fair. Don't know. Let's not do that. But I, I, I still. I hear it, but I still stand on that it is very much a personal problem for the bride, though. If she's chosen a basic service, then she should be but able say to that. have a basic service. You're though. lying. Basic, like, say, I'm a bride. Mm. I just want normal so, makeup. So are you offended on a personal level that the person just lied? Because if we're being very technical, they booked a service. So, like, I don't know. If I was to take my car to the garage, there's either you can either go basic, premium, or, you know, platinum, whatever, Yeah. If I've only asked for basic, then the garage should only just give me basic. But you're not lying to the to the garage about what you want. Like, like you know, you have to be honest. Like, say that I just want this, and and I can tell you respectfully, I'm not the MUA for you. Mm. My, you can find an MUA that will accommodate that for you. Do you get what I, I'm trying to I say? I really don't agree either. No, but babe, that's just I what really it is. Like, like, you cannot cut corners from my it's not cutting bridal corners though. list. It's not, like, cor- it's not cutting corners. I'm basically saying that I'm opting out of having my skin prepped a certain way, having risking the fact that my makeup might be a little bit blurred or smudged in my wedding photos. If I, the bride, I'm saying I'm okay with that, why can't you just accept that? Because 
there's just a protocol to follow. That's mm. just my terms and conditions. But like, I, I, yeah. I, you, I, I everybody get, I is, that's, that's like going to certain brands and saying, that, why do you run your business like that? You cannot mm. tell the brand how to run yeah, their yeah. business. Yeah, agreed. Do you get agreed. what I'm trying to say? So if you. that's my way of working, that, like allow me to have my but way then, of but, working but you know like, <laughs> don't come and question me about the know, way I want but, okay, to work so then, okay so let's get into the, before I get into the next question it, fine you're allowed to have your ways of working right. and to be honest I always say this on most of my podcasts I do respect the people that have been in the game for as long as they want and you can pretty much make up your own rules now because it's no longer oh I provide a service you are essentially a brand now so yeah. fine whatever cool but I've lost my train of thought. Oh my God, my question I, just ran out of my brain. Let me just add to that. And also, I just feel like we enjoy taking content knowing that it's a bride. Do you mm. get what I mean? You're also rub, rubbing us of, you know, now using that content to basically show that this is what we're doing today. Do you know mm. what I mean? We've come out to do a bride, you know, and that shows more brides that, okay, this person is getting booked mm. get, especially if you're like somebody who's just starting out mm. every content helps you yeah know? Of you need as much footage to kind of you put yourself into that um category that you're trying to go yeah, into, no, into that service. do you get what i'm saying so if you're robbing me from taking content because you want to lie and then okay cool that happens you get away with doing that you're now going to tell your friend that wants to book me later on that oh i did this you know that that has a knock on effect and everyone Fair thinks that enough. they can be doing that, that that's a good oh, point. Is it <laughs> low? Oh. okay you that's, stayed there. okay that's a good point but you, okay <laughs> but you know what that's a good point but then in the same breath i got my question but in the same breath yeah i think what i find frustrating prior to like because now we, we're now in a place now where as a society we're starting to talk more about weddings on social media yeah. but I felt like at a time when I was getting married there was very much this attitude from vendors very much well like if you can't afford it then find something else cheaper or find a cheaper option but there isn't really a cheaper option if we're being really honest if we're being entirely honest there isn't but anyway okay, I, can I, I say one more thing okay let's go in terms of that okay. one more thing okay. and I feel like th I'm done okay okay the reason as well that I find that it's kind of, I don't want to say the word cheeky, yeah, mm. but it's kind of like, why is it that people think that makeup or hair or the beauty aspects of things should be the cheapest part of the weddings when the photos that you're going to have as a memory for a lifetime, the photos mm. that you're going to blow up and put it in your on your wall or the mm. photos that you're going to put in a picture frame and have in your house mm. for a lifetime is a picture of how you looked. Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Mm. Like, how can you, like, don't cut yeah. corners. Don't cut corners. Everything else that you find that's expensive, food mm. and all that stuff, is that going to be on your wall in it's your true. house? It's true. You can't, you can't. Tell me, the taste of even the decorations yeah. that you lot are paying for, most times the photographer is going to take you outside and take a picture and that's the picture that you're going to have in your wall. It's not, prob it's probably not going to be the decoration mm. in your wedding. That is on your wall. I hear you. That's a very good argument, to be fair. <laughs> that is a very good argument, to be fair. That is a very... I can't argue with that. Thank to be you. Fair. I knew that one was going to be the... You no, know. I... <laughs> It's true. It is literally forever. Every time I use it for my own, no, I'm using it for yeah. business now. So I can't, I personally right. can't, and I personally didn't do that. Do you know what yeah. I mean? But I understand, like, if you're pushed to a point where, like, you have to find ways to save money, I get that yeah. angle of, like, okay, let me just say wedding booking. I mean, birthday booking. Yeah. I get that. But hey, I mean, let's see how this goes down. I'm sure the girls are still probably not going to agree. They're not going to agree, but okay. Sorry. Yeah. I just have another... Point. Yeah, yeah, go uh, on. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Let's, <laughs> let's paint a picture, yeah? Mm. When we're on social media and we know that someone's getting married, I'm just talking about all the people from the outside yeah, yeah. waiting for snaps, waiting mm. for people to mm. upload the bride on the day. Mm. We live in such a shallow world that we can't wait to see what the bride looks like. Mm. Yeah? Am I lying? We no, cannot wait to see what the true. bride looks like mm. because... Either we want to be judgmental or we want to be happy for her. Yeah. Do you get Either what I'm way, to say? Judge, judge happy. Well, we want to... <laughs> and the thing is, we're waiting for the first snap just so we can see. Did her hair bang? It was dead did anyway. Did her makeup yeah. slap? Did her dress... Do you get what I'm trying to yeah. say? It was dead anyway. All of this hailing that she was doing, my wedding is coming, my wedding yeah. is coming. And you, and you flopped. Mm. Like, we live in such a shallow world. So, like I said, don't cock corners with your makeup. Don't yeah. cock corners with your glam team. Mm. No. You shut me up. <laughs> 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 Bye, baby. So oh, um, yeah, no, that was a really, that's a very fair point. I'm sure I still don't agree, but I don't know what I don't agree with anymore. <laughs> you're fighting it. You're like, you're I, fighting no, but I paid. Look, like, for oh, me, yeah. yeah, I know 
I wasn't, I was all about quality throughout my, as much yeah. as I could get for my money, right. I pushed for quality. Yeah. So I'm always about quality. I like, appreciate you, girl. Some, I enjoyed it. So yeah. I was happy with that. Right. Um, but I, yeah, I do emphasize with those that like might not be able to have the same budget as others. But you know, the game is the game, I guess. I guess you just manage yourself and be going. I swear. Um, okay, cool. So then that was, the, that was a good question. I really enjoyed that one. <laughs> I really, <laughs> person saying, I just need to yeah, remember how to word it. What products should we ensure get used for wedding makeup if we're paying a premium price? So do you get that question? As in what? Um, products should the MUA have? Yeah, so let's say a bride is get, she's paid the like the full package yeah. for whatever the um the MUA is requesting. What should she be hoping yeah, to see yeah, exactly. in the makeup kit? Yeah. Um, I just think there's no right or wrong answer with that. Mm. But like I said before in my previous um answer, you just want to see high end brands mm. because. It, if you've got cheap brands, most people like associate cheaper brands as to not be enjoyable a lot mm. enough, like not long lasting long. Mm. So you want to make sure you have like setting sprays that mm. are quite popular or known for lasting long mm. primers that are known for lasting long, like I don't know, e.g. Becca, mm. or some people believe that milk and magnesium does the job for them. Can um, MUAs use that on people though? I don't think uh, if the person doesn't, you know opt against it mm. then I don't see it being a right or wrong answer yeah because some people I would bring out I don't know Becca or number seven primer yeah. or or something else yeah. um and then people be like oh no 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 I want milk and magnesium I, I, oh, really? I'm yeah too shiny That's old school um... yeah <laughs> like so every yeah. bride is different so it just depends do you know what I'm saying but mm. You want to make sure you have things like Charlotte Tilbury. I mm. feel like that always looks nice. Like, you know, you've got the magic cream, mm. you've got a setting spray and just um, different, different things. Like, and yeah, I just feel like you want to see like good brands like mm. your Huda Beauties, okay. you know, Nars, the popular, popular, yeah, yeah, Pat McGrath, all them kind of things. Okay, what should popular we not, what should, what should we not, so what would you, if you paid um, bridal makeup, what would you be worried like what kind of brands would like you collections? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, no shade to collections. <laughs> collections, like yeah. okay, no Elf is quite good. I don't want to see LA LA girl concealer. Is okay, LA yeah, LA girl pro. <laughs> yeah, no, I thought we let that go a little while ago. We're but still using it, babe. What, for, um, for makeup, what do you make up? Ah, <laughs> oh, okay, interesting. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> some people are still using. It. I still see it in some people's kits. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> LA girl. I thought that was just a, like an everyday type of, and this and th yeah. this is this is. But do you get why people complain? Because imagine paying wedding makeup and then you see a leg girl, yeah. bro, in someone's kit. Yeah, definitely. It'd kick off. Yeah, but then that's why. Those like, are the kind of makeup artists that deserve to be lied to. I'm sorry, man. I'm still standing by my. I hair. hear that, but then that's <laughs> but then you guys like the people that don't have that in their brand. You guys mm. are trying to price down their price. Do you know what I oh, mean? So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But you know what? Okay, can I add? Yeah. And this is not a criticism of your work or anything, by the way. But I do, I do feel, and this was just me, how I felt across the board for like wedding stuff as a whole. Yeah, okay. I do feel like I don't mind paying a premium. I'm very much okay with like I like okay. nice things anyway, mm -hmm. so that's okay. But I just kind of really wish, yeah, that like I just felt more like a bride. Look at the way you're looking at me, like what's this girl's gonna say? I know, really. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> what's she gonna say? <laughs> no, but I just really like. You didn't do it to me, but I just felt like sometimes, like, oh, I wish I could just get a little bit more. Just like, just come with flowers. Does, does my booking come with flowers? Like a little chocolate? Oh, a little I get box. what you mean. Do you mean like, here's like yeah. a little goodie bag, you know? Thank yeah. you for choosing me to be your MUA. Thank you for choosing me to be your DJ. Well, okay, DJs, whatever. DJs are not the, anyway, like, not the greatest. A little example. incentives. Like, do you know what I mean? Just, just like, make them feel a bit special. Like, exactly. You them. I feel like that's, that's the one thing that I felt, because I'm like a very much like, um, I was very much away with the fairies when I was engaged. And I felt yeah. like my wedding, um, in, what do I want to call it? My wedding vision mm. kind of got popped because the reality was so different to what I thought it would be. Yeah. I thought like I would go to vendors and I'd be like, oh my God, like welcome. Yeah. I'm a bride. Yeah. Like, when it wasn't, that was kind of, oh, this is like really underwhelming considering yeah. my emotions were like up here. Yeah. Um, 
So I just wish but like, you okay. was quite sad. Like you, when I came in, you was quite sad. Yeah, I know. But sometimes <laughs> like when the energy is like that, it's, it can be annoying and someone comes with a ray of sunshine and then no, they're just wait, like, we well, just I... shut up there. Like, can't you see that somebody is stressed out here? Do you get one? I was. I was, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but I still thought, okay, so I was like, okay, I get that with the energy. It is tough to like bring that back up. But then let's say, okay, cool. Like here's a face mask. Let me just give you a quick, even if you're going to yeah, put the primer yeah. on you, yeah, I know yeah. like, so what I'm complaining about is like, even if you're putting the primer on, yeah, just the way you put on, you're just going to just, yeah, rather than just, you do you know what I mean? Like, it's just like, ooh, okay, what are you doing? Like, yeah. oh, I'll just do this just to prep my brides. And right, blah, blah, blah. Right. That's what I'm kind of saying. Do you know what? Um, I feel like sometimes like some MUAs do try to incorporate the whole face mask stuff, but mm, I also sorry. feel like, I feel like some MUAs do make the effort of like using face masks, mm. eye masks and things like that. But sometimes when you're just running out of time yeah, and there's like, a time yeah. to get the makeup done. Yeah. You have to cut corners, like mm. with certain things that you can av- like avoid. Yeah, if being, I think that's know. good to manage expectations because. But then at the same time, and that's not that. So this is not just to MUAs. I'm talking about literally everyone. So like in your case, I get it completely because the time is pressurizing. Like you said, when you came in, I was very much like oh, irritated a little bit. Yeah, you know. Um. Oh yeah, I was because of the weather. Anyway, we'll the weather, oh, it was, it, it was disappointing it was because it would have been so amazing. Yeah, it was a killer. Had the sun have been It, it really there. changed the whole day. But anyway, yeah, we'll get did. to that. Yeah. You know, we're talking about makeup. Um, it was cold. Yeah. <laughs> this girl's laughing at me. I was so sorry. <laughs> Security. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, no, like, for example, let's say, like, someone that doesn't do what you do. I'm trying to think of a vendor, for example. Let's say coordinator. Let's just take coordination, yeah. for example. Coordinators, they're great for what they do as well. Like, right. I really do think they you know they deserve all their flowers yeah um but let's just say i still paid for a service so for me i would have still loved imagine how sick it would be like if all my vendors just sent me flowers i want to feel like the main character in my story even if like i'm not someone that requires i think we could do better with that i think so too i think i know i'm being this is my honest (laughs) feedback So we have to we it, what's the point of having this space if we're not gonna be honest with yeah, ourselves? You know what I mean? Yeah. I really want like the next like set of brides and even vendors. I want vendors to feel less stressed out and stop thinking that oh these brides are crazy or these right. people, like these couples are crazy right. and kind of have some sort of understanding as to where people are coming from and why yeah. they may choose to lie, even though it's against your terms. Yeah. Um yeah. at the same time as well, I want brides to have a greater experience. I mean, my of experience course. was I, I enjoyed my wedding, but I really feel like my experience, even though it was here, it could have been there. Right. Just by those little touches here and there right. that really cost nothing. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's that's just my two pence on that. Um, I think that's a, a good idea. Yeah. Like, because I then I think making them feel special. You would have less people way. saying, why do I have to pay pound and it's right. like I'm dumb. Like I literally massage your face, you get a glass of champagne, you get yeah. this, you get that. Like, please don't question and how much is that gonna cost like right. that booking, like maybe like ten pounds. But do you know what? I I guess it's because we know that we do try and go above and beyond. well, let me not say we. Let me you say speak me. Yourself. Yeah, <laughs> let me speak for myself before that people are like <laughs> you speak try. for yourself, girl. <laughs> but um I just find that I like to go above and beyond for my clients. So like, even when they're there, more times it's the hairdresser and the MUA that's helping the bride get dressed. Mm. You know what I mean? It's, we do little touches. We're getting you creamed. Like mm. we're putting on your perfume. Mm. We're helping you with your accessories and stuff yeah. like that because your bridesmaids, some of them think it's their day as well. So mm. obviously they're just focusing on themselves. So mm. they're not really like attentive to the bride. So we're there, the, the ones who actually make the bride, well, we try to make the bride feel yeah. calm, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. get ready for her day. So I guess that's probably what we're thinking about more than anything more than, yeah you know treating them a bit more special and mm. you know recognizing that they're somebody that we should also pour into because they poured into us yeah definitely. so i definitely think that that's food for thought yeah. and i would definitely take that yeah. on board definitely I, I think i feel like most brides that would pick you then um or have picked you already, I'm sure they're probably not the stressful brides anyway. Yeah. I think you're probably lucky. Because yeah, I am. Quite. I went to you personally because I didn't want to compromise on quality. So yeah. for me, it, it makes sense. And I still remember as well, you actually did do that with Deborah. I remember when I changed into one of my dresses and we had um, like a little moment. It was like, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Mary. We was vibing. <laughs> we bring the yeah. vibes. And I do like that. And I do, and I do feel like, okay, it was worth every penny. Um, but there are people, unfortunately, that just do just the makeup right. part. Yeah, and I feel like and conversation else. it 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 matters. Mm. Like how you uh, approach the wedding day matters. How you dress matters. Mm. You know, you want to be you want to dress how you want to be addressed. Mm. Um, you have to make sure that 
you're making the bride feel comfortable. You're making the bride feel loved on a special day. Mm. You know, you're even making her have good memories, like by asking mm. her certain questions like, how did you meet your husband? Yeah. How did he propose? All of that stuff. Hold that thought because I think the next question actually leans into that. So there was okay. a question that said, what advice, yeah, so what advice would you give to up and coming MUAs? <laughs> Bride, let's everybody. say bridal MUAs. Yeah. yeah. I think... One, you have to make sure that your kit is presentable at all times. You Mm. know, that speaks well of you. Mm. And, you know, people can trust in you that you're a clean girl. You know, um, you take pride in how your services appear and Mm. things like that. I also feel like, like I said before, um, dress how you want to be addressed. Mm. Um, I find that some people... Because, you know, we always meet different MUAs at bookings mm. because, you know, some people are going to do bridesmaids mm. and someone else is going to do the bride and things like that. And I see some people with their bonnets on. And I'm just like, hey, I've never that, seen that. <laughs> oh, yes, there are people. I've never seen that. But I understand because it's early, you know, like yeah. most times we'll be doing bookings and we'll be there from like 4 a.m., mm. 5 a.m. Yeah, so I understand. But that just couldn't be me because... I remember you had your name badge on. Do you remember? And I was like, oh, not a name badge. I just said, oh, yes. hello, MUA. Um, yes, yes. <laughs> said Edith Williams. I said, yeah. okay, at my service. Right. Hello. I might not wear a uniform, but yeah. I'm always going to look presentable. Yeah. Like, my hair's always going to be done. I don't mm. wear makeup most yeah. of the times mm. when I do my bookings, but my hair's going to be laid just mm. because I want to show you that I'm... I'm someone you can trust. Yeah. Like, though you might not see makeup on my face, mm. know that the way I've presented myself, mm. I respect my brand. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. So that's um one thing as well. Hygiene. Girls, get your hygiene together now. Mm. Because the, <laughs> you're so... <laughs> yeah, go on. <laughs> get it, go on, tell them. <laughs> tell you're them. so up close and personal to someone mm. that hygiene matters mm. they can't be sniffing you when you're sniffing off key mm. like it's not fair on their nostrils mm. and as well the bride also <laughs> you too <laughs> your, you hygiene. Too, your hygiene and your breath <laughs> everybody's uh-huh. hygiene okay. everybody's breath should be making sense mm. because Mm-mm. dodging breaths yeah. going back into the makeup is just making the makeup process longer you know <sighs> I have to talk out yeah. away from you holding your breath back in praying you don't collapse all, like <laughs> Oh my it's god! Dodging <laughs> breaths, like yeah. that's what we're not gonna do. Yeah, like. yeah. no, that is that is really good advice, actually. Um, I don't think, thankfully, I've never been in that position. But then again, I don't. I actually only ever really, really used MUA once when I got graduated. I went right. to my wedding. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, no. But I think that's good advice. Um, is there anything else you'd like to add to that? Um, service. Your service just has to be great. Mm. Like, your aura has to be great. It has to be bubbly because that has a knock-on effect Mm. um, for the bride on her day. Mm. To any client anyways, like, Mm. you know, you should always just be bubbly and making sure that your conversation is upbeat. Mm. You know, you're making people feel like, ooh, that's a nice girl. Because I feel like, me personally, people look at my Instagram and judge me straight Mm. away. You know, people make... uh, They assess you from straight up how you appear on your instagram Mm -hmm. you know i don't really talk a lot i don't Mm -hmm. really share my personality Mm -hmm. on instagram so it's very easy for people to be like okay but by by the way she looks Mm -hmm. she looks like she's gonna be a mean girl Mm -hmm. do you know what i'm saying a lot of people have you had that um my brother say uh, clients say that to me all the time really they even say that they're skeptical to book me because of how i appear no way and so when they meet me they're like surprised mm. they're really surprised at how nice i am oh wow yeah it's crazy but that's... at the same time i get it mm. it's sad that that's what i look like <laughs> <laughs> so that's how i come across yeah it's sad that that's how i come across yeah. but at the same time i'm happy that i can shock them with mm. how i really am but that's good self-awareness right i think i think self-awareness is key because then at least you're able to get ahead of the the curve by or control the narrative because exactly you know exactly you're aware and you've also accepted it as well right to some degree right um, i think i think that's dope to be honest yeah. um is what it's what is and you get into the bag anyway so does it, does it, really, does it really matter bag, girl. <laughs> Question from me personally, and this isn't really this is just something that I just want to add into this episode, okay. but I did want to ask, um, how did you even get into makeup? <laughs> how did, how did you, is it something that like you're passionate about? Is it something that you fell into, especially bridal makeup? How yeah. how, how did that happen? Okay, cool. Let's start with makeup first. Um, no, I was never into it. Really? Never. Like everyone that knows me from back in the day, they will tell you how shocked they are that I do makeup. I was the biggest tomboy ever. No way. I wasn't a girly girl really? at all. 
like you always catch me tracksuits. I was a tomboy, the biggest tomboy you can ever imagine. Okay. But um, you know, as you grow grow older, you kind of start to realize that, you know, for male attention, you have yeah, to start yeah, like, looking I... a little bit like a girl. <laughs> otherwise, or um, well, you'll just carry lost. <laughs> yeah. You get what I mean? I hear it. You'll just yeah. carry lost. So obviously I started to kind of like um dress a little bit girly and things like that. But mm. I still never really wore makeup. Mm. But I would do like my eyebrows mm. and I would do like my eyeshadow and that was about it but mm. people used to like like it and think I was wearing makeup it's, mm. it's weird so I was I remember working I was working in um, a shoe shop and then I applied for the makeup counter just because they were offering more money mm. I had no interest in it whatsoever okay um so I applied the job applied for the job got the job and then because of the kind of brand it was they required me to do makeup on people to sell the products mm. yeah so then when I started doing that mm. I realized I was good. I was good. Out of nowhere. I just realized I was good. But then I realized that I was really good at art. Oh. Like okay. art was my passion in school. Okay. okay. So I felt like I was painting. Okay. To this day, I still feel like I'm painting. That's good though. Yeah. Mm. So I was able to transfer those skills mm. into doing faces. Mm. So then after that, I kind of like lied to clients. I was like, yeah, I'm a professional <laughs> anyway. I come no. to your house. I was just, you know. Capping. Fake it till you make it. Fake yeah. it till you make it. Exactly. Yeah. Then someone booked me and they actually gave me money. I said, who? <laughs> Hey, is that all? <laughs> That's all it takes. Is that all I, can do? I was like, yeah, no, this is me from now on. So really? then I just started to play on that. I started no to do that. And then eventually it grew. And then, you know, you go, you go into a field where you know that there's other MUAs big in the game. Mm. So that kind of humbles you. That makes you think that I'm not going to get anywhere with this. Mm. So let me just do it because I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Not because I see that it's going to go anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't think that I would go that far with mm. it or that I would be here today. Yeah. I never thought that. Mm. But the more I realized that I was posting, whether I was just doing it just for banter, mm. whether I was just doing it because it became a passion of mine, mm. people started to notice and people started to book me and then it become more regular and then more regular. So I just didn't sleep on it because me, I just like making money. If, yeah. Even if it's not, Regular, at yeah. least is money here and there. Yeah. So then after, someone booked me, like, you know, sometimes it'll be like your family members mm. or somebody that knows you that will just yeah. full compassion for you yeah. and be like, oh, come let on, me support yeah, yeah, pat come patronize your Yeah, business. come on, patronize <laughs> me. Like, but, so yeah. it's like, they'll book you to do the weddings. The minute I got one wedding content, I went ham with promoting that. No, like, you did I went not. So ham with promoting my I'm, <laughs> a, I'm a wedding MUA. <laughs> like, I changed everything on my bio. International, wedding, that's it. <laughs> you have to fake it till you make no it. Way. Like, if no one's going to believe in you, mm, you, like, believe in you have to believe in yourself. So, mm. I did whatever I could with that content mm. and then the next person booked me. That's mm. another one. So, I just made sure that I was always just Letting it be known mm. to people that me, I've upgraded, yeah. <laughs> and I'm not your mate. <laughs> I'm not your mate. Like I've upgraded. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and then eventually people just started, that's amazing. Like, and so, was um, when did you start doing your first like destination wedding as well? Like, was that? Can uh, I tell you where my first destination but wedding was? Where? Bali. <laughs> what? How? You see how this job is for me? How? You see why God is blessing this me? That's why. This how? Is Bali. But how? How, how did <laughs> that happen? God. God did. <laughs> that's it. God, that, did, God it. did. You went to Bali for your first wedding. <laughs> My first destination. That's amazing. You must have been gassed. How excited were you? God. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> you must have been like, oh <laughs> my God. I don't even know the word for it. Like, I was more than gassed. I said, hey. What? Bali. I was just like, I was Googling it. I was like, what does Bali look like? And when I saw how big it was, I started What, so you didn't know what Bali was everything. before they, you just they no, just told you Bali and you're just like, okay, When I say yeah, it sure. was years ago, no way. before Bali was a thing. Yeah. Before Bali was a thing, that's when I went. And then, I've never heard of it. I've never seen anyone go there. So you never. were like, oh, okay, yeah, sure, Bali. Then you Googled it and you were like, I said, what? Eh? So there's even Bali. Someone because got married out there. That's it. Someone got married out that's there. That's it. It was just bare Nigerians and Bali. Oh, really? I've never said, I've never <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen a Bali. I've never been in Bali. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> that is actually mad. Yeah. So after that, I was just like, no, this is the field that mm. I want to be in. Mm. Like, I love it. I enjoy it. And if it can be flying me out to places like this, yeah. then why would I sleep on it? Yeah. So yeah. I just consistency is everything. People yeah. just want to know that you don't give up because everyone says they're starting something mm. and then they give up. Mm. So as long as people see that, okay, this one's serious. Yeah. They they will eventually just 
have no choice but to jump on the bandwagon mm. and you know that's a really inspiring and here you are here showing yeah. your story now so I think I think that's amazing I think that's sick I think I'm I'm taking a leaf out of your book and Is I'm it? gonna yeah I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna I use that. that take that advice and apply it to myself yeah um Okay, cool. So when we spoke, was it yesterday? You said um, that you had some questions for me. I had some questions. Some questions for me to the bride. So bring it. Let's go. Let's go. I okay. feel like when people talk about weddings, like, yep. it's all the same thing now. Oh, mm-hmm. vendors, how it was on your wedding day. Yep. What would you change? Blah, blah, blah. But mm. I, I want to hear the smoke. I want to get into the smoke. Oh, really? I want to hear the beauty. Because okay, I cool. feel like, yes, there's me being a makeup artist, but I'm also a girl and I'm also from the community. That so part. we all kind of, know what kind of goes on in our community. Mm. And I want to know, okay, I'm a I'm a makeup artist. I've been to a lot of people's weddings, you mm. know, and it's been a beautiful experience. Of and course. I'm just like, God, when? Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes you feel like that sometimes, yeah? yeah, yeah. yeah? Mm-hmm. Or for me to check in with my brides, maybe mm. a couple of years down the line, how's married life going? Mm. For them to tell me that we're no longer together. together. Yeah. My thing is, why are marriages not working out? Mm, oh, wow. Okay. Well, uh, no. Well, no, damn. No. Well, this isn't meant to be a wedding, <laughs> wedding, wedding, wedding podcast. <laughs> but it, I mean, but it's wedding podcast, but marriage, it's a marriage sorry. Like, because at the end of the day, yeah. you are spending, you are forking money on that wedding. Mm. All for it. Like, yes. You remember, um, yeah. Honey said that there's life about yeah, life after, after wedding. wedding. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But then why is it that after spending that much money, yeah. it crumbles after? I think, okay. So let me, let me get my head around it first. So, People have the amazing weddings, obviously. Da, 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 da. I think it's a combination. I, okay, so let me just talk as a as a girl. I'm right. not talking as like Aisha bridesroom. I'm literally just talking as a girl. And I genuinely think that having a beautiful wedding is one thing, but marriage is different to a wedding. Right. A marriage, I mean, a wedding is not going to mask whatever is already like crumbly. Do you, know, do you get what I'm saying? Right. If a, if a relationship is already on the rocks, having this big day is not going to, to mask that. It's not right. going to mask the imperfections. Um, there's imperfections that you can handle and, you know, you know everybody's flawed. Yeah. But then if there's things that, like, you seriously need to address before getting married right. and you still choose to go ahead and get married, that wedding day is not going to save the marriage. That's my opinion. Exactly. That's my opinion. I have, in response to what you are saying, I have also noticed a lot of the time, this is really sad to say, but a lot of the time, a lot of vendors' attitudes towards couples really can sometimes be like, well, they've seen a lot of couples not stay married anyway for a long time anyway. Oh, wow. And so sometimes it's kind of just like, <sighs> let me say it. And if I have to edit this out, I will. <laughs> 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 but it's almost like and obviously that it wasn't from the hair and makeup. This actually I went to a wedding show earlier yeah. this year and yeah. one of the people at the stores was kind of like wait, they just were like to me and Leslie, like, how long have you like guys been together? We're like, oh yeah, we've been together a year. They were like, well, at least you guys made it a year. Do you know what I mean? Like, but oh, she was promoting charming. her services. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean? Charming. I know, all right, cheers, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, thank God. But you know, like. I think her attitude is like she's probably done this she, or she's been in the industry for so long yeah. that she's seen so many I'm marriages. like, I know who this is. <laughs> is it? <laughs> she's seen so many marriages oh, fail. It's kind of like, oh, she whatever. Hair? No, it's not okay. even hair. No, um, coordination, actually. Oh, okay. So oh. she's seen so, mar- so many marriages fail that it's yeah. almost like there's this attitude of like, let me just take the money because they don't believe in the relationship. Yeah. Anyway. Right. That's my opinion. I don't know if I'm going to keep this bit in. Yeah. Um, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think a big wedding, big or small, beautiful yeah. or not beautiful, is not going to save a relationship that's already on the rocks. It can't. Right. It can't. Like, you know he's a crazy person. He, You know he's a lunatic. He knows you're a lunatic. You both right. try to come together and be lunatics together. Marriage just doesn't work like that. So yeah. that's probably why. Yeah. Um, 100%. I literally feel like it, has to start with there being cracks beforehand mm. that you guys just kind of overlooked because you fell into this whole trap of you've told people about your wedding day mm. and you know you've invited guests some guests are even flying out from different countries have bought tickets to come to your yeah. wedding and you're probably feeling pressure that I don't want to upset these people or I don't want them to have wasted their time yeah. you know people would have sewn material for your for mm. your weddings if it's a cultural one a question do you think then it's better for a person to call off the wedding let's say you get to like three weeks before the wedding and then you realize oh or the girl or the guy realized this is not the person for me as a vendor 
that you've seen both, you've been able to see both sides now. Yeah. Do you think it's better for them to kind of just be like, you know what, who's better for someone to call it quits before the wedding or manage the marriage and then decide no. what they're going to do after? Because it is, a, it's, I'm not going to lie, it is highly embarrassing. Yeah, I, 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 I can imagine. I yeah. I, and I thank God I don't know what that feels like, but right. I can only imagine it feeling yeah. extremely, ex you've called... All of these people, you've got yeah. people calling you from America saying, right. I'm coming to land and checked in and booked yeah. this and sewn this and done that. All for you and your husband or wife. Um, all for you to be like, guys, you know what? Don't worry. I think it's a lot more harder Yeah. Um, because there's so much that goes into putting that day together. Um, I just feel like regardless, you're still going to have issues. So mm. it's going to be embarrassing whether it's now or whether it's then, because mm. if you separate anyways, mm. it's still going to be like the marriage didn't last. Do you get what I mean? Mm. So it's best to just save yourself, avoid yourself going through the the process of faking it because yeah. that's what the basically yeah. doing. You're faking that you're happy that when day. But do you think it's fake? So this is, once again, I don't know if I'm going to keep this segment in because this is, this, is, this is deep, but then again, I really enjoyed this No, but the reason why I'm saying don't delete it, yeah, yeah. is because... This is real life stuff True. that we're going past. Like, like mm. I said, I remember the first thing I said yeah. is that people don't speak about this enough on all these it's wedding post podcasts. It's but true. I'm talking about someone that's in the community. Mm. These are things that we should be talking about. Okay, cool. So let's be real then. I've been to weddings, yeah, where I have... Because I don't want to sound like I'm shitting on anyone's relationship or anything mm. like that, yeah. But you can almost tell yeah. by how disorganized the day is. Yeah. Have you ever you felt mean. in the room and it just feels yeah. so divided or the energy 100%. is just so off? Off, hundred percent. Because they don't feel united right. and like the bride's fine. The bride side very much feels like one side, and the groom side very yep. much feels like one side. Yep. Or like the bride and groom are arguing yep. on their wedding day, yep. and it's you like. Can always sense it. Do you know what I mean? For me, I wouldn't be surprised in that case if it's like a few years down the line that it's like, oh, so and so. Yeah. You know, it isn't. It isn't that. Um, obviously, the, you know, you do have the odd cases where some people are just very good at faking being a good spouse. Right. Um, and then some people fall for the trap and it's not until you live with them then you realise, oh, this is actually a crazy person. Going off that point, I feel like where men and women struggle to coexist, if you don't live with your partner beforehand, mm. and I know that that's a thing where traditionally, if you're like, I don't know, from an African back yeah. background, um, you, you know, your parents would not like that. Mm. Yeah. It's something that's looked down upon mm. living with your partner beforehand. Mm. But the world that we're living in you and the inside that we live to, you need, you need to. to. Because I find that once they get married and then live together, mm. they're so taken back by how much that they're different. Yeah. How much that they really might not actually get along as good as well as they thought that yeah. they did. And then because you're married you now feel like... You have to firm it. Oh, yeah, yeah, you like, feel... Yeah, you you feel, panic. I will say, so that's a very good point that you're saying because I um, I definitely agree. You have to get... you ha Like, even if it's just one or two months, yeah? Right. Of just living together. Let's just say you rent out an Airbnb for two yeah. months just to know how does that person do their laundry? Right. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's so many little things here, like... So many little You'll things. You'll be so surprised. Yeah. Like, oh my God, we're completely yeah. different people. You don't put things back where, yeah. where they're meant to <laughs> like, be. Like, husband, I love him, but like he could just walk into the, like for me, it's a big pet peeve. We're working on it still. But <laughs> <laughs> he could just go into the kitchen and open all the cupboards and just not see a problem with it. Like he'd or open And eight, not close it. Yeah, open a cupboard and not see a problem with that. Until I bang my yeah, head. Yeah, exactly. Up. Do you know what I mean? Like... <laughs> And for me, that's like, wow, we're so different. Like, how do you not, how do you not feel the need to close right. the cupboards? And just yeah. like, it's just so weird. But like that, that could actually cause proper arguments right. in it the does. household. Something as little as that, like you'll be beaving and it's like. Also to add, like you could, like, you could discover that like your spouse might actually have some sort of mental disorder that they've been hiding as well. Right. Do you know what I mean? There's yeah. so many reasons as to why I'm so pro living together before Beforehand. getting married. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's mm -hmm. still highly embarrassing, especially if like you're already engaged or like, let's say you've even bought a house together and right. stuff. But I think it does save people a lot of time if you are able to just really like literally be in their pants and actually yeah. understand who am I marrying. Right. Um, you need that experience. But yeah, I think you, people have the lavish weddings, but you can always 100% always feel like the, the energy off. 100%. And just kind of like be like, okay, well, that wasn't a surprise. But I don't, yeah. I don't know. I'm, yeah. I, that's just... Yeah, what I'm guessing. but then like you said, there are some people that are good at masking it. So 
you don't get yeah, that. Yeah, you can, like I said, you can hide a mental illness. Somebody right. can look well put together, right. but then they could be, I don't know, at nighttime, they might have some sort of disorder that just makes them, I don't know, yeah. tend to a werewolf or something, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, but would you say um, marriage is overrated? Because I have a lot of friends who are married mm. that tell me that marriage is overrated. Oh, that's a good question. I will say that... Mm. Um. Okay, like in terms of... I just feel like from people like me who are not married yet, mm. we have this whole, oh my gosh, goals, like mm. look at them. Mm. And we almost wish to want that. Mm. Wish to want that? Does that even yeah. make sense? Want, I don't know. It's my English, we, English we, in? we, we get it, we get it, we get yeah. it. We get it. <laughs> you know, like yeah. we're in awe of that. Yeah. And we want to aspire to, to yeah. have that. But then mm. I will talk to people who are in marriage mm. and they'll be like, Trust me, Girl, I'm even looking for a life. way out. Yeah. <laughs> like, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So is it a thing where you would tell people, you know what, don't rush, yeah. um, you know, like in God's timing. Obviously, yeah. most people say that, yeah, yeah. but it's not as it seems. Okay. Or do you believe that no, no matter what, get married because you can work through it and there's a lot of advantages that comes with being married? Okay, there's so many parts to it. So I would definitely say that, if, first of all, it's... I always almost tie marriage and having kids as the as not together, but like you have to want those things. Right. That that's like the first, like first, first, but you yeah. and your partner have to both collectively want it. Yeah. Because if you yeah. if it's just like a nice to have, like trust me, you will just get flogged. There's no need. <laughs> <laughs> you have to want it. Yeah. Um, I will say that if you do marry the right person for you. You, there are sweet moments. It is nice. Like, like, let me not lie. It is very nice to have like a two income household. Like, I right. don't have to worry about certain things. Like, I can actually afford to have a broke day because I can just lean on my husband. Right. Like, if I if I want to. Like, for me, I enjoy that. But at the same time, I'm not going to take away the fact that now, like, there is an added pressure because when you have a wedding, you've now publicly come out to everybody in the world to say hey guys we love each other right. and we're gonna look up that's literally how it feels we're gonna look after each other yeah. and be with each other and so there's like this massive expectation in the yeah. house that's like you've married me which is like yeah. in a love person's eyes basically going on a megaphone going on bbc news basically right right so now i'm expecting to do certain things because you love me that much yeah um and sometimes, like, for me, I don't like cooking. Like, I, I don't... Yeah. It's not something I enjoy. It's yeah. not something that, like... I don't... I never dreamed to be... <laughs> I hear you on that one, girl. <laughs> Preach on, <I've> sister. Ne- <laughs> <laughs> that part. I've never dreamed to, uh, you know... Even yeah. now, I'm still working towards my chef. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I it's not something... That. That, it's not something that, like, I desire. Like, I'll yeah. be real. And that's yeah. where I find, like, sometimes it can be hard if my husband... If we both had a long day yeah. and my husband's expecting certain things. And I'm like, today, but I don't... Just looking at yeah, each other like, like boy, <laughs> that's actually your problem, boy. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Obviously, I know. Okay, there's some things. Okay, cool. You're because gonna he, to, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to just scrunch up my face and just do it or whatever. Right. But yeah, so then those kind of things, I I personally don't enjoy of marriage. But then yeah, yeah there's there's fun times when it's like, okay, this actually is my person. They do get me, and like even just in life as well, when life is actually dealing with you, it is nice to have someone in your corner. But I do think you have to marry the right person because if you right. marry the wrong person, yeah. All of that can go. It can, yeah. It can, it can honestly throw you off. Either um, it can either elevate you, or it can yeah. just completely like remove you. Like I agree, and put you down to like the wrong place, basically. Right. So I would say personally, it's not something that you need to be like, oh my god, like I want that because yeah. I don't want to be one of those people. But I am gonna have to say, it's not mm. everything on online or like even like all the events that you go to right. that you need to believe that these people are. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like as it said, as it seems, as it seems, it's yeah. not always it's not all gold but, that glitters. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So oh, is it not all glitters that's gold. Yeah, yeah, I think it's that one. <laughs> um, <laughs> but we understood. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, so I, I, I think it, it is. Yeah, it's not all that. I'm not gonna lie. Let me <laughs> let me actually be real. It's not all that. But <laughs> no, I when I say you. it's not all that. I really wanted marriage. So yeah. for me, it is everything that I wanted it to right. be. But then there are ghetto moments. I have yeah. to be very honest as well. Like, I don't <laughs> like to cook. I don't want to clean. Like, why yeah. can't we just... We both... Like, I honestly just see it as like, we both work. So like, why can't yeah. we just put money together to get a cleaner? And, yeah. Cook and just... Let's just get the job done. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But then equally, men have their expectations. I, I, their expectations, but they also have their roles as well that I look at them and I, I would never do that. Yeah. Like, do you know yeah. what I mean? I, having to financially provide for everyone. Yeah. It's a lot sometimes, you know what I mean? It's ghetto. It can be ghetto, but it, there are 
huge rewards. You build right. your family together, you do nice things, and you have okay. someone to lean on, all of that kind so of thing. So you're basically saying, if that's what you really want, then... Go for it. Right. But it's not, it's not going to be... But I think good things you have to fight for. Right. You have to fight for it. So that it's not going to be all just like, oh, we love each other. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You have to work for it. You have to have really difficult conversations, right. like drag each other and then like still be able to show each other love and all yeah. that kind of thing. But of course. it's not it's not just like what you see on Instagram. Okay. Do you know what I mean? So just marry the right person. And if you can't find the right person, then I would say personally, just, just leave enjoy it. yourself and be yeah. the bad bitch and just get all the money, travel yeah. the world, do all of that. Do you know yeah. what I mean? I would rather a woman do that. This is the advice I would give to my sister. Mm -hmm. I would rather her just like focus on being herself. Like yeah. continue to just like keep building yourself to the best you can possibly be yeah. until you meet someone that matches your energy. But to, to just do it because, oh, society said I need to do it or oh, must be like, mm, no. Right. Do it because you found someone that is good for you. But yeah, no, I would I would hate to see any girl like lose her bad beeness because she wants to get married. No, no, no. Right. Any guy that comes to me to just elevate that, make yeah. you better than what you actually for were before. You yourself. Yeah. You get it. So that's that's my two pence. Okay, so <laughs> another <laughs> oh, question for the girlies. <laughs> one more, one more. Okay, one you know, more. you can keep asking. I'm enjoying this. Okay, another question for the girlies. Is it okay? All right, let's go back to weddings. Yeah. yeah. Is it okay? For any of you to invite somebody that you have done a thing with in your past life. And that can be anything from kissing, you know, obviously going all the way or, you know, uh, maybe you've gone on dates before. Is it okay for, for anyone them, to do that? For them to get invited to your wedding. <sighs> I don't know. I honestly, don't, I honestly, don't, I think, I think, I honestly think it depends because how far back are we talking? Are we talking like secondary school? Because that's dead. Like, 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 are we gonna really hold on to that? Like, yeah, but that was still, that doesn't if you, even count. If you, okay, say for instance, you had sex with somebody in secondary school. I don't know when you lost yeah, your yeah, yeah. you are each to their own, right? Yeah. Um, is that still allowed though? I, I know you're saying far back, but is that still allowed? Like, does that, is that ruled out because it's such a long time ago? <sighs> this is a really hard question. I know. I'm just trying to think. Okay, so um, I would say it's not okay. I would say it's not okay, but then what I'm saying is not okay is like, and I'm I'm going to, because I I've, I've, I, can't, I don't want to talk from my experience because my experience I've been with my partner for like literally like 10 years before we got married so like right. half the stuff is like secondary school stuff right. are we really going to talk about that? No Yeah. but let's say like we're grown adults like most of us and most people watching this are probably like mid 20s to like mid 30s right. right so if it's someone that you were like recently actively like doing a thing with like you were yeah. seeing going on holiday with right. like let's say in like the last three to five years I do think that's problematic personally okay. mm-hmm I do think that's problematic. Um, and also depends on how things have closed off as well. Right. Like for me, I'm just going to talk about as a girl, not as like someone that's married or anything. Yeah, yeah, yet. exactly. But you absolutely have to hate each other. Like if it's a thing where like you're inviting someone that um, that you're still cool with or like the way it closed, especially if it's a thing where like you guys closed off, but like it wasn't like a proper close off. Do you know what I yeah. mean? Like the door's still kind of open. Yeah. But then yeah. one person just happened to get married. Right. That's wild because yeah. the door is still kind of open. open. Do you know yeah. what I mean? But then it doesn't matter. A wedding is not going to stop if the person's going to go through the door. Anyway, that's not the point I'm trying to make. <laughs> the point, my answer is no, it's not okay. Let me just say that. <laughs> because I think it gets really technical. It does I think technical. it gets really technical. I think it depends on how they closed off. Like yeah. for me as a, as a woman, the ideal is like you absolutely have to hate all your exes so that I know that like that's just never gonna, gonna happen again yeah. but if it's a case where like oh she still likes me she still likes my pictures mm, yeah and then it's kind of mm, and you I just feel know. like okay kissing and all those things like that's nothing and is it a thing where it's because you went all the way with that person that and you had like an intimate relationship with that person it's a tough one because if it's let's say that person that you kissed has their own husband and child now does that what does that mean? Right. Do you know what I mean? Or wife right. and child. What does that yeah. mean? Um, it's a tough question. There's it is a, a tough there's question. There's so many like um, layers to it. Layers to it. Yeah. So it's really hard to just say outright yes or no. Yeah. But I would just say no. I personally wouldn't like that. Um, 
But realistically, as a bride or groom, would you even have time to even know who's in the room? Depending on how big your wedding is. No, you're not going to Would know. you have time to even identify who is who? It's only until later you'll be like, well, wait, who was that person? Do you know what I mean? Um, what do you think, Rose? Just respect yourself though. Like it's not well, everywhere that you as an ex, mm. it's not everywhere that you have to go. Like mm. and yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. I just mm. think when yeah. you know it's somebody's like blissful moment, just sit sit this one out. Yeah. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Be happy for, for them from afar. But that's you talking as like a, a kind person or True. a normal person that's not a widow. Like some people are widows, let's be real. But hey, each to their own. Each Any more questions? Own. I'm really enjoying these questions. Actually. Is it? Yeah, I told you. I know. Edith Ain't being the host said. today. <laughs> Edith's room. Edith's room. Honest, like, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. How do you feel about, you know, there's always this talk about my bridesmaid try to over, like, outdress me mm. and things like that. Do you feel like as a bride, you have to know everything that your bridesmaids are wearing? type of thing mm. if it wasn't just like okay there's some weddings where it doesn't require that you're just wearing your bridesmaids yeah. just suddenly wearing it the whole yeah. night cool we're talking about you know um okay let's say a nigerian wedding for instance yeah, yeah? you know more times they're going to change into another outfit yeah, after yeah, they're yeah. going to change into the whole yeah. traditional yeah. outfit and stuff mm -hmm. like that so if i'm changing my girls are changing mm -hmm. do you kind of need to know what your girls are wearing or would you like give them the time to just freely do whatever they want but then you see someone's try to really step to you. Step to you. Will you get offended? Um, so I will just talk from my own experience. Okay. Personally, I really wanted my girls to dress. Right. Like I kept on saying to them, like, you guys need to look like the sweetest babes. I'm like that as in well. the room. Do you know what I mean? We must it's, shine it's only a reflection together. of me if my girls right. look good. Do you know what I mean? That's yeah. that's how I see it. But you know you're gonna come hard anyway. Of course, I'm gonna come yeah. hard as well. And as well, like Everyone knows who the bride is, even if right. they, even if the girl does step to you. Yeah. We still all know who we came for as right. guests. Do you know what yeah. I mean? So no one can really miss you as the bride. Right. Um, I do think that mentality does come from a bit of insecurity. I'm not yeah. going to lie. Yeah. I really do feel like you need to be a secure person and be yeah. okay with like, you can have friends that are prettier than you. That's right. okay. That's okay. You can have friends that might get yeah. more men than you. That is okay. But my man's also <laughs> me. So where do we go from here? <laughs> do you know? <laughs> as pretty as you are. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So like, I feel like you just really just need to be yeah. a confident person. Just be a confident bride. Like don't, it, it already like, to be doing, oh, what are you going to wear? Are you looking decent? Are you going to be doing it? Right. Don't be that girl, man. Yeah. I, feel, I just find that so that I haven't experienced it, but I have seen that with other people. And yeah. I just, I just personally don't like that. Like that you whole... see it, like even on um Insta blogs mm. and stuff like that, when they're like, oh, this person came to okay, like, she looks nice. That's like good. upshine the bride and you stuff like that. You can't. There were people that came to my wedding, even my bridesmaids, they dressed. Right. There were people that came there, you know, because obviously you got married in Meridian. So people right. stand on the stair, they're taking their pictures. Yeah, their yeah. Nose. I love that right. because that's associated with my yeah. um, wedding. Those are my people. My people my guests, don't play. Yeah, that's that's exactly. how I see it. I don't see it as like, oh my God, she tried to outshine me. She I tried to that. look better than me kind yeah. of thing. I, I really hate that um that mentality. Yeah. I do get if like people feel a type of way of like, let's say it's a white wedding and someone chooses to wear white. That could be annoying, especially if the bride has specifically like chosen to have like a color yeah um for her that's just damn rude like, yeah i don't really? like that and i have yeah. seen that i've seen someone wear a nice white sparkly dress to someone else's white wedding does it I make thought, a difference that's mad sometimes i, I fall into this category does mm. it make a difference though yeah sometimes but, like, <laughs> <Not gonna lie. laughs> yeah but if i wear white but i'm wearing like trousers like and like a suit type of thing because it's not really like I, yeah, I, I tried to step for the bride like I know it's white yeah cream maybe yeah, white, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's not like doing gang gang yeah like, no I know what you mean I know what is you that mean. acceptable no I think I think it honestly depends on how big the wedding so let's say let's take my wedding in Mykonos for yeah. example that was quite a small wedding yeah so if someone else was wearing white then it's still like I personally wouldn't yeah, side like, girl did you really need to do that bombastic do you know what I mean like oh this like yeah. read the room but if it's like one of those like <laughs> big like um you know like there's uh, like really big trads where like right. everyone's just chilling in the back so yeah you're, you're more time gonna drown out anyway because there's so many people i really yeah. just think it depends on the number okay but i think if you can avoid white then try your best yeah. to yeah um, of course yeah like i think a suit is it is calm it's not ideal yeah but 
No, I'll, it probably, will do. I'll probably wear another <laughs> colour with it, like a brown top, but okay. white trousers or okay, something. Cool. Yeah, it's quite straightforward, to be honest. Like, try to avoid white if you can, but... Yeah. Okay. But are there other people out there? No, I think they're using the studios. Um, oh, we made it anyways. Hmm? I know, we I'm really it. enjoying this conversation. Yeah. The question. Yeah, I think yeah. it's going to be, I think this will do quite well. Do you think so? Yeah, I think so. I think people are just going to be nosy anyway, because it's you yeah. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, how do you find me as a, but she said I was sad though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But okay, let's say, okay, yeah, actually, there. yeah, no, that's a good question. How did you find me as a bride? Because I think me today definitely is different to the, to the me that you met when yeah. I got married, but... So most times I don't really know mm. my brides at all. So I'm always going there with like no expectations. Mm. When I met you, obviously you look you were you were sad. Obviously I don't know why you were sad at the time, but yeah. I was just like, oh hey yeah, <laughs> like you know what I mean. I was like, hey yeah, like you know, I don't really know how to come into this, like yeah. because when someone's sad, it's just like. You kind of want to make them feel better, but yeah. at the same time, you don't want to overstep and you don't want to be annoying. Yeah. Because like, you don't know whether the person's going to take it as, you can clearly see that I'm sad. Yeah, like, just don't even talk. Yeah. yeah. Just don't even talk. Yeah. Just be just... quiet. <laughs> so I didn't know what I was going to get with you. Yeah. But I just thought, you know what? Just take it as it comes. Do you mm. know what I'm trying to say? Like, see how the day goes and things like that. Mm. But I felt like as we was like, doing the makeup and stuff, you started to relax more mm. because p- things became much more real to you yeah and then on top of that you know that there's a lot of things that you cannot change you mm, have to just go just with it, it yeah. you just have to accept it so i felt like by the t- by the end of the glam session mm. which one though because there was the first one oh, really the first one, okay, that was quick. i was just like all right cool i can clearly see that that the morning session mm. was just because she was stressed mm. but this is not her do you yeah. know what i'm saying this is not yeah. her attitude because mm. I won't know what mm. your attitude is like. I don't know if that's how you're like anyways. Yeah. Like mm. maybe you just don't, you're just not a happy person. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So mm. I just see by the time you was taking pictures and like, you know, you was kind of feeling yourself mm. and getting into the swing of things. Mm. Like, yeah, you was just a bit more bubbly. Yeah. But then when like, as the day went on, you were just asking me, are you good? And you did, I was just like, oh, okay, she got girl. hot. Like, I don't even remember lovely. doing that, but hey, that's good. So. Like, no, you asked me, like, you was like, basically, like, you good, guys good, and stuff like that. And then you remember, like, I took a little video of you mm-hmm. when we was on, like, I think it was the coach yeah, or yeah, bus yeah. that was taking us to, like, to the venue. Yeah. And the way you was just, like, talking in the camera, I was just like, hey, this is the type of babe that I like. <laughs> and then by the, your second, yeah. um, you was I a know. new person. You was all dancing. Like, and I'm shimmy. feeling myself. You was feeling yourself. Yeah. And then we, we even walked in and did the dance. And I was just like, yeah, this is a show, babe. Yeah. Me too. I was like, hey. Like, do you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I just love the energy. Like, yeah. you just showed yourself to be a true girl's girl. Mm. Like, that loves mm. a good time. Oh, that's and stuff. nice that you picked up yeah. girl's girl's vibe. No, 100%. That's nice. 100%. 100%. Nice. I oh. felt like you was really nice, but you was just like, I which is there. understandable. Yeah, things went wrong, unfortunately. I thought I was trying, I was trying my best to like keep it all in, but I yeah. guess it was shown on my face, to be honest. You can't help it. I know, like, I know. I think, that's, I think that's tough, but I guess, you know what? Having a conversation with an MUA today has really helped me, and I'm sure maybe might help some of the, I don't know. Let's see what they say after this episode. Let's see. I yeah. can't, let me not talk too much. Exactly. <laughs> Give some people some insight as right. to the experience, why we pay for the experience that we have. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Because if I had an ex- in an experienced person that day, they might not have been able to handle me. And it might right. have gone from bad to worse. Yeah. Whereas like you were able to still bring it back from bad to good, yeah. if that makes sense. Um, in terms and of I the do energy. feel like you pay for the name sometimes. Mm, like, mm, mm. you know, it's mm. like you go into a high-end brand mm. and you don't really question them why their price is their price. You yeah. just know that it's their name. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that is the difference with someone that's inexperienced and someone mm. that's experienced. You mm. almost, like, by the fact that they're popular mm. or the fact that, you know, it comes with... Um, good feedback mm. from people. Like, yeah, yeah. you know, it's one thing to be popular, but it's another thing to not be likable. Mm. It's another thing to to be mean mm. and, you know, mm. and people don't actually like your services. Yeah. Do you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So I feel like it comes with that as well. Yeah, the fact yeah. that people can vouch for that person. Yeah, yeah. So what would you say, what would your um, last piece of advice, have you got any more questions, by the way? No, okay, cool. What would your advice be to both brides and vendors today? Like, what would you say? Knowing what you know now, um, um, yeah. I'll always just say don't pick vendors just because of their popularity 
get a sense of them. Mm. Like you'll kind of sense how they are through communication with mm. them, you know, whether it's forthcoming or mm. whether it's scarce, mm. you know, you'll be able to like source out energy, make sure you book trials, you know, to or or at least face to face meetings with certain people because not everyone can give you a trial mm. if you're like, I don't know, a photographer mm. or a videographer or something mm. like that. But just kind of get a feel of the people that you're booking because if their energy is off, that's only just going to bring you down on your day. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. You don't want no mishaps. So definitely get a feel of people to sense energies because all you want is good energy around mm. you. Mm. Um, yeah, don't go for people who seem popular just because you want to like boast and be like, that person did it. Like, Make sure that you have people that you know who has recommended them to you yeah. and has given you good feedback. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Avoid people who are in drama and things like that. And just be open, be nice. Um, with brides, I find that people always stress on the day. Always remember that nobody knows what's gone wrong at your wedding. You know, mm. like, you know how it was meant to be. But to us outside looking in, we're going to think that that's what you wanted. Mm. So don't overstress. Try to enjoy it as much as you can. And vendors just try and be on point try and be on time try and have better communications with um, the people that are booking you because that goes a long way and they're going to be the ones to recommend you to the next person so keep it cute keep it classy keep it all of that mm, get to the bag and get to the bag <laughs> let's get this money ching ching exactly um, no Edith, thank you so much for coming thank today for I me. really oh this one was a good is one is it yeah it just oh. felt like you know like, um, the, is it a smash room when you go in and you smash? yeah yeah I really yeah. felt like I got it off my chest <laughs> Um, I don't know if I, I, I feel like, yeah, I, I want to know what everyone thinks after this episode. So guys, yeah. like, let me know what you guys think. Do you think we need to have a part two to really... Hey, bring me back. Yeah, maybe. Oh, okay. Maybe. I'm down for that. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but it was really good to talk to you today. Um, you. I really, really appreciate you um, coming, showing love, showing support, um, and even just, you know, making my wedding day, you know. I look good on my day, I know. Yeah, I no, so. you did. You did. You did. <laughs> so thank you for that. Um, and guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on TikTok, follow me everywhere. And Edith, where, where can we find you? Oh, so my Instagram is Edith Williams Artistry. So yeah, add me up, guys. Yeah, and we will. Um, and until next time, bye, guys. Bye. bye. Woo. And cut. Wow, oh, we done it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.